G'day people, this is Chris Go here. I've just come across this video saying CERN is now permanently shut down due to an accidental explosion. Now, as you guys have probably been watching and keeping an eye on all the experiments that's taken place with the particle accelerator in uh, Switzerland, um, obviously they're, they're trying to uh, get to the speed of light and they've probably achieved that probably 20 fold with what they're doing and uh, they're collecting dark matter and all sorts of stuff I mean it's really really crazy but I come across this video and I just want you guys to see what I've just seen and make your own opinion up leave a comment down below if you feel that you want to talk about it but um, anyway I'm going to press play have a listen to this technology by rogue science to allow a rupture in space-time, a wormhole for 38 minutes to allow in entities. Now, if you don't know what entities are, that's some kind of spirits or that, that's some kind of energy that is a life form. Now, regardless of if it's, uh, you know, from the next layer below or the layer in front or the next dimension, whatever it is, it's allowing a doorway to be open, all right, for 38 minutes, okay? So imagine a portal opening and monsters entering within our realm. You may think it's uh, fiction, but I think you'll find it's actually becoming more fact and it's reality and it's happening right now. Um, you know, it's a matter of time. Maybe dragons did exist and all that sort of stuff when you think about it. Anyway... I'll continue to play. Technology by Rogue Science to allow a rupture in space-time a wormhole. Yep, for 38 minutes. That's crazy. Here we go, guys. So this is in Geneva, in Switzerland. It's CERN. Here we go. And a fire at CERN, Geneva, Switzerland. Unfortunately, this is not on the CERN site. I just looked into that again two minutes ago and it's not on major news media but it has Pretty been big. detailed by one of the CERN scientists Paddy Brassard who gives a basic rundown of the tremendous destruction of the CERN collider it's 27 so, um, kilometers in radius uh, I will leave a link below for you. It's about an hour. Mayan so or Mayron. Atlas, and it goes and all the way around. Collider. And that's it's the Swiss disaster, French border. So so here's an explosion. And what can we say? So, this is what a we nuclear say, explosion looks like, okay? I just saw this news today, Sunday, November 22nd. Fantastic news. Thank you for everybody who's been praying for this stop. Obviously. Our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, so they're going to crap on about Jesus, but anyway, it's happened, guys. They've done it. Isn't this what was prophesized? Isn't this the time, roughly, when they said all this shit was going to hit the fan? Gateway opening, they had a key or something. It wasn't that long ago that there was a creature found inside the actual collider. Now, that's the collider there, guys. That's a big giant pipe, okay? And it's got all magnets and all sorts of things. I think they go around it or whatever. But anyway, there's a particle beam just going continuously around and around and around this 27-kilometer tunnel, okay? Colliding, you know, I suppose they're trying to collide time with, I don't know, with, with, what, with energy, with light. You know, they're trying to harness time travel and portal energy. I mean, look at the size of that. That's huge. They're magnets. That's the vacuum tank as well. You know, like, what are they doing? Like, they didn't even take the creature out of there. You know what I mean? They said it was a living entity. What the hell do they mean by that? It was an actual living entity. So this is going back a few months ago. we December 5th today, 2015, you know, this is going back a fair while, but this, this thing's huge. You've actually got to, you've got to go see it. 
you know, each one of those cables is 30 meters plus. And that's just for one section. It, and those cables, they're huge, like three phase sort of uh, thick cables, you know, they're massive. The conductors there, resist, all that sort of stuff, it's all there. You know, like we're, we're talking serious money, serious power, serious technology. You know, there's all sorts of reports of all sorts of things taking place around there that, you know, like you hear reports that they, as you're seeing all the UFO activity, this is not actually in Switzerland, that's in Colima in Mexico, and that's over a volcano, okay, and that was taken July this year. Um, you know, there's a few pictures there just showing going from left to right. Now, um, by the look of it, it actually, it's in front of the plume there, okay? But getting back to the Hadron Collider, I mean, if they had to stop, what's that mean? Does that mean all the dark matter and antimatter they've collected gets wasted? How do they collect it? You know, what are they going to do with it? Because I heard one particle atom is the equivalent to one atom bomb or 20 atom bombs. I don't know. Leave a comment if you know the answer, please. But honestly, what is it? What are they doing? Is this a good thing or is it a bad thing? Do we need to try and get together to, to try and sort something out so we can prevent this from taking place? Is this the doomsday device enabling a key to the gateway of hell if there is a hell? See, I believe we live in hell, you know, and we learn from our mistakes in hell. So when we do get to live again, it's a privilege. And we live in a society where everybody is equal, you know. Everyone loves everyone, and everyone's there for everyone. You know, it should, it should just be a moral thing. But I just wanted to point out all this stuff. It is happening, okay? It is real. I don't know, I don't know what we're going to do in regards to what's next. But all I can say is, you know, at the end of the day... It's the human race that need to band together to make something happen, okay? We've got to make this happen, and we've got to make it happen together, okay? So I, I don't know what the steps are to take. I don't know if we need to contact CERN or, or whoever's in charge, if it's a government-run organiser. Who knows? Who knows? I don't know. It costs billions of dollars, and it's a particle accelerator, and now if someone's going to mess with particles, that means that there's... Of destruction of the human world, anything made from carbon. You get what I mean? A carbon based product is made from particles. Think of that. Okay, your, your body is 70% water, 30% just mass and materials and muscle and skin and organs and stuff. You know, our body is made up of carbon. So that's why they say you leave a carbon footprint. It's because we're carbon, the earth's carbon. Anything that grows from the ground, I, pre I presume, is carbon, you know? Anyway, thank you very much for your time. I'm hoping to get some responses. Please check out this video. Peace. And honest, I'll, uh, I'll keep posting videos, updating what's going on. Thanks for your time.